What's going on guys? It's the 10th Gen Broski here. And today's video is to tune or not to tune your 10th Gen Civic with the two liter naturally aspirated engine or for short K20C2. Let's get into it. So it really comes down to two things, your location and how comfortable you are with the tune, or tuning it yourself. If you're about picking up one of these K tuners for your Civic, because that's the tuner that I'm using, that's all that's available for my platform as far as, you know, being able to tune the K20C2 engine, um, you need to make sure that either you live in an area where you can actually take your car to get dynoed, and get it professionally tuned to dial in those values because the tune that they gave you through K-Tuner, it's just a base map. Um, but that base map alone, when you upload it to your car's ECU, it's your car's gonna be running like shit after 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 a little bit. Um, that's what happened with me. Um, ran fine the first thousand miles, and then it just started, uh, you know, started uh, having issues with the uh, slow startups in the morning, the first startup. And I think that's just the, what was explained to me. That was the car's ECU trying to, um, try to figure out the proper air to fuel mixture upon that first startup. Cause when you turn the car off and it sits over eight hours or more, it's almost like resetting itself every time you go to start it up. That was the issue that I was having. And then actually ran data logs of my car to, uh, then uh, send them over to K-Tuner's uh, email. They said that it was the air box that was causing the issues, throwing all the values off because it looked like my car was running pretty lean. Uh, if you don't have a place you can take it to dyno and you feel comfortable, you know, taking a chance on a base map or on a custom map tune for your car, go that route and then you should be able to, you know, uh, upload that to your car's ECU uh, via the K-Tuner software. Um, so yeah, but I mean, I, I'm not knocking the product, you know what I'm saying? It's just a little bit misleading that it says it works in conjunction, um, you know, with aftermarket, uh, intakes and exhaust when, if I do that, it runs like shit. So I think ultimately out of the box, when you upload that base, the, um, their base tune, the tune one, I think it's meant particularly for those that have a complete stock setup, right? But then if you start to add the downpipe, the aftermarket intake, or even an exhaust, then that's where you take it into a tuning place to further, you know, get the most out of that engine. But, uh, so yeah, that's all I have to say. It's a great product, not knocking it. I think, like I said, it's all about that support. If you got the support you need to have your car tuned and set up right, go for it. Because these two liters, man, they're good engines, they're super reliable. Um, and I think with the tune that you put on there, it's available, like your car, really, I felt like my Civic felt like a previous Gen SI that was stock. It was pretty cool. 